In this problem, we have the ratio of the volume of two cubes given as 27, and we're also given that the area of the larger cube is 180 units. Okay, so that gives us two equations that we can write. So the ratio of the volume is, we'll say the larger one is x, dimensions of x cubed, over the dimension of the smaller one is y, we'll say, cubed. That ratio is 27. Uh, we're also told that the area of the larger one, the x, is 180. So the area is going to be x squared is one face of the cube. There are six faces on a cube. So the area of the larger cube is this. Six times x squared equals 180. What we want to find is the area of the smaller cube. So what we want to find is six y squared. So what we're going to do is use this and plug this into here and then find y squared from there. So let's just solve for x here. So we'll divide both sides by six and we get a 180 divided by six is 30. Uh, and then we can take the, the square root of that. So we have x equals 30 to the power of one half. Okay, so we can plug this in here and that gives us x x is uh, 30 to the 1 half power, so 30 to the 1 half power cubed, we'll say is 30 to the 3 halves power. So I've plugged in x here. This 1 half multiplied by 3 is 3 halves. Divided by y cubed equals 27. Okay, so again, we're looking for y squared. We're looking for this area of the smaller cube. So let's solve this equation for y, and then we can find 6y squared. Sorry. So we'll multiply both sides by y cubed, and then divide both sides by 27. 30 to the power of 3 halves over 27 equals y cubed. We want 6y squared, so we need to change this y cubed to a y squared. To do that, we take the 2 thirds power of each side. So I want to multiply this by 2 thirds, and then I have to take 2 thirds power of all of that. This gives us our y squared. So this is now y to the third power times two thirds. These cancel and you just get y squared. These cancel each other. So we have 30 in the numerator. And then we have 27 to the two thirds. Great. This is simplified fine. This 27 to the two thirds can be simplified um, a little bit. If you take the cubed root first, you get 3. So you'll have 27 to the cubed root squared. You can split, split up in that way. So 27 cubed root is 3 squared, and 3 squared is just 9. So we can plug in 9 here instead of 27 to the 2 thirds. So we have y squared equals 30 over 9. Finally, we have our y squared. What we want is a 6y squared, though. So we just multiply both sides by 6. So that gives us 6y squared is the area of the smaller cube. So we have 6 times 30 over 9. 6 times 30 is 180. And then we have 180 divided by 9, which is equal to 20. So our area of the smaller cube is equal to 20 square units.